Hey guys, has the holiday season slowdown that we see every year started early this year in October? On this month's episode, I'm gonna break it all down for you guys and answer that big question. Here we go. All right guys, before I answer that question, I wanna give you guys some stats of where we are today in October. Uh, the first thing that I wanna show you here is that we're seeing a little more inventory come on the market, so more homes becoming active than we're actually seeing homes sell. So that is an indicator that we are in a shifting market, right? It's either going one direction or the other. And right now we're starting to build inventory with a little bit less demand, and that's quite a few months in a row. Luckily for us, that gap is really small. We're not seeing double the amount of homes come on the market than we're seeing homes sell. So we're just barely outpacing you know, inventory over demand. The big stat that I wanna point out here is really our days on market. That's probably the biggest thing that we've seen on our end kind of affect our market. You know, those days of home selling first weekend are, are relatively gone. There's still homes that sell first weekend. Of course, if you're priced right, you know, you show really well and you're in a really desirable neighborhood, it's gonna sell quick. But we are seeing that average days on market across the board actually get up to 34 days on market. So homes are just sitting a little bit longer. Overall, we are in a balanced market right now. Not too much demand, not too much inventory, more in a balanced market. So we're seeing homes, sure, a few of them sell for over asking, but I'd say more homes are actually selling under asking price and being negotiated. So we're in that balanced market. That's my quick update for you guys. So to answer the big question, right, that is, are we seeing an early slowdown for the holiday season in the real estate market? And the answer to that is yes. Um, you know, this year we've had significantly less sales happening, more than last year, but, but less than we normally see. And sure enough, we're starting to see a little bit of a pullback, less sales happening in October than we've seen in years prior. The typical slowdown, as you can see on this graph, it starts to go in November, right? November, December, I tell my clients, if you wanna list, we typically wanna list well before we get into you know, the holiday season of Thanksgiving and, and Christmas. Uh, and even uh, January is when we typically see the least amount of sales because we just don't see that many transactions in December. However, we're starting to see that kind of slowdown happen now in the month of October. So this could be a, a very slow holiday season. Now, with the Fed doing the big half point cut, we all expected the market to really get hot again. And we started to see a little bit of an uptick in buyer activity, but that was only for a few weeks there. We're starting to see a little bit of a pullback. Um, so I do expect that there to be less sales going through uh, the holiday season than we've seen in the, in the past. This does not mean we're gonna start seeing prices come down, right? We just don't have the inventory that we need for prices to significantly drop. However, I do think we're gonna see days on market increase. We're gonna see some homes that maybe should have sold, but they don't have the demand that they need, so they're gonna sit through the holiday season. Uh, but I do expect the Fed to do additional cuts this year and us to go into probably January, February of next year, and then the market to really ignite and start to catch some steam. So everybody knows how I like to end these videos. I'm gonna give you my buyer and seller advice for the month of October. Uh, if you're a buyer out there, hands down, get active right now. Uh, we see a lot of buyers start getting into the holiday season, start pulling back, right? They get busy, they're visiting family, they don't wanna deal with a move during the holiday season, so they start getting out of the market. Uh, I highly recommend, if, you're, if your goal is to find a really nice home that fits your need, that you don't have that much competition going after it, the holiday season is a great time to buy. Um, also, we see uh, investors get in the market during the holiday season. I've personally put together some of my best deals during the holiday season because we have homes that maybe should have gotten more demand with sellers that are motivated and there's just less buyers out there, so less competition. So if you're a buyer, get active through the holidays. Build a plan, talk to us. Let's build a plan of when you'll be available, when you want to get out there and view property so you can try to take advantage of the holiday slowdown. Uh, for all my seller clients out there, here's my advice for you in the month of October. Um, you have to expect that your home might sit on the market a little bit longer. 
So we wanna do everything possible to make sure that you're the next to sell home. Uh, what I mean by that is when you look at the active comps that are surrounding your property or in your general area, uh, you wanna make sure when, when you put on your buyer hat and you look at what's available in that area, that you're the clear choice, right? You have the, the best price, you show the best, right? You're really clean and move in. Your, your photos are phenomenal, right? Your agent is top notch. You want to have everything in line to make sure that you are that next to sell home. So don't cut any corners. Make sure you prepare your property. Make sure you, you get it moving ready and make sure you guys are priced right. So that's my tips for you guys. Uh, as always, if you have any questions at all, please reach out to myself or somebody here on the True Local team. All right, guys, take care.